everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well this is such an exciting video for me because my best friend from england is coming over to visit me as most of you know by now i have moved over to geneva in switzerland from the uk and i've only been here a little while but it's so so nice that my friends are coming to visit me already she's actually just got to the train station right by me and she's here with her boyfriend so let's go and get her i'm so excited <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is! <laughs> Finally so reunited. Oh my god. The apartment is unreal. Gorgeous. I'm so jealous. Josh is over there. Josh is here too. <laughs> Waiting for his best mate, Tom. But we're gonna head down to the lake now. We're gonna go for a swim because it's so bloody hot here. It is here. really warm. I think a swim's gonna be perfect. I know. It's literally gonna refresh us so much. Because the water's like a good temperature because you're not like freezing your tits off it's refreshing oh, i'm really excited i think as well because if you've watched my vlog i've just come from prague so we've had like four days city break so just chill and yeah. by lake is like oh it's the perfect. right best and i've not even shown these guys like where we're going yet like it's not been in a vlog or anything so it's gonna be like a first look for you guys as well but yeah we're heading down now so see you there let's go guys i don't think i've actually shown you down here yet i showed you briefly where I came on my morning walk, but this is like the nearest little beach to us. So obviously we've got the lake right here and then over there you've got a little bit that you can jump into. But yeah, and Look then there's little, little bits over there. Girly. Casey's obsessed. <laughs> yeah, I literally love it. We've got to this little beach, which is the one that I showed you earlier. Josh is absolutely itching to get in the water, so we're gonna go in now. And then we might go get a drink from the little bar that's over there. Just a bit of stretching going on from Josh. He's absolutely buzzing. We're gonna swim out to that. Josh is having the time of his absolute life. Picking up the algae. We're literally drowned rats right now. <laughs> I don't even want to know what I look like, to be fair, at the minute. But it was fun. It was so much fun. It was very fun. We had a lot of mascara. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, we went on with full faces and we've come out like this. Jump scare. <laughs> Just showered after getting back from the lake. I had no camera battery left. And we're going to grab a little bit of food and have a few drinks by the lake. Tom's back as well. That's fun, yeah. really. Yeah. You're so mean. Um, yeah. Daggle. Why is it not focusing? Have you seen all the stars in the sky? Yeah. There's so many stars in the sky. A couple of days ago, it was on Saturday actually, there was like a um, like big announcement because of loads of shooting stars. I know. <gasps> Guys, look at all these ice cream flavors. What, what do we get? There's too There's many so much shoes. Oh. Yesterday, <laughs> they had the best <laughs> blackcurrant flavored ice cream here. They don't have it today, so I'm hesitating between melon and mango. Because they look really good, like sorbets. We're just eating our sorbets by the lake, and this man came over and he asked to lift Tom up. Yeah, you should have done it for the vlog. But I think he might be gonna do it to a man over there. So if he does, I will try to film because it's so fun. Anyways, my melon sorbet was really yummy. Yeah, man. Come and sat down at a little bar. Casey's got her first yeah, Aperol nice. spritz ever. Woo! He's just going from my passport and looking bar. at all the stamps. Um, like the lake is What's it say? Biarangli by Oh, um, well, that's in Biarritz. Mal Pensa. Milan. Do you think I'm going to actually like it though? I know that's nice. See, it's like something else that I've had before, but I haven't one of those. It's nice, but I get, I get the bitterness. He's still going. That's my dream. That's what I want. Everything's shut in town, so we're resorting to a little drive-by McDonald's. But I think we're actually gonna eat in because we're starving. Do you reckon we've got enough McDonald's here? We we picked up our Mackies and we're having a very civilized dinner. And Josh is having a McFrackelette for the first time. Mm. Oh, thank goodness. It does look good, and it's it? Pretty good, huh? We've eaten our McDonald's and I'm just gonna take my makeup off and get to bed because it's currently one o'clock and Tom has to be up for work at half past four. Five. It's definitely bedtime for us. But tomorrow morning, I think we're gonna go to the lake again and go for a swim. And then we're gonna go into Geneva, like into the town centre. So I will show you all of that. I've had such a fun day so far. It's been so good. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed kind of seeing a little bit more of like where I live, like what's around and everything like that. But yeah, we're gonna get to bed now because we are exhausted. Good night. Hello 
everyone. I actually haven't vlogged that much today. You'll have seen this morning, I think, from when I was like the next day or like the next morning that we went for another swim today and it was really nice. Me and Casey are ready now. Having a little glass of wine before going out for dinner. As you can see, I still need to do my hair. But yeah, I need to try and get this bottle open. This is not the sort of openers that I'm used to. Oh, hello. I don't know what to do with my hair. I like the easy bottle openers where you like... Oh, wait, just sunscreens. Or like the ones where you turn it in and then the wings just go like that. You might need your help, I think. Come on, Joshua. Need your help. Well done, Joshua. Oh, oh. hey, handsome boy. Thank you. We're gonna finish getting ready. I'm gonna sort my hair out and then um, we'll see you there. We're ready. Casey's done her hair like this in the end. I think it looks really cute. I've curled the front bits about 16 times. I just still don't think I like it, but it's out my face. I think it looks lovely. And then yeah. I've just done what I do every time. Are we gonna eat there? Yeah. We've arrived at the beach bar. I don't even know if you can hear me as her. Um, these two are arguing over their videos. Oh, we finally got served. We literally had to wait 20 minutes to order a bottle of wine. But I'll show you the scene. It's very pretty. And I'll show you when we eventually get our bottle of wine. They'll be happy women. Yeah, I'm up my right arm. Ooh la la. Hi y'all, hope you're having a great day. Not just a good day. Have you seen that girl on TikTok? Delish. We're home. We had a really good night. I actually didn't film anything oh, at yeah. all. I forgot to show you what Casey and Josh bought for us earlier. They went out into town and they bought us some roses, which are really cute because I actually have flowers in this pot all the time, but I really needed to replace them. So gorgeous. So thank you, my friend. Okay. Good morning. We are back in the car. It's just the three musketeers today. Tom is asleep, but I'm taking the guys into Geneva and we're going to have a bit of a look around. It's actually quite a good day to go to Geneva because normally it's quite quiet. So with it being Saturday, oh, yeah, that's good. That'll be good. Exciting. That's me driving, so Lord help us. <laughs> it's quite early still, to be fair. So what, like 10 o'clock? Yeah. A lot of time, but we've got a lot of stuff to do this afternoon as well. Woo. We've come and got our little morning coffee in Geneva. My eye is so puffy. I think you can see it actually. It's not the cutest thing in the world. And then we're gonna go around some of like my favorite spots. We're gonna go get a crepe, I'm pretty sure. Josh has splash milk everywhere. Oh my god, it's all in the floor. And Kiss has got an appetizer. It's actually really nice. Now we've come to get some good old Swiss crepes and they are so good. I've got creme de marron, which is like chestnut, like puree, and it's like salty. No, sweet, sorry. Casey's got chocolate and banana and Josh has got a cocktail of chicken and pesto chicken pesto lentils. lentils egg and paprika I think it's so yum yum I've got the coffee shake thank you welcome I need to get your reaction oh my gosh oh. <laughs> Look how yummy that looks. What do you see? It's like chestnut. Chestnut cream. Try that bit. Okay. No? <laughs> no, sir. Not today. Guys, I don't think you understand how good this is. This is literally in one of the like biggest department stores here called Globus. And it's so yummy. I did have like whippy cream on as well, but I gave that to Casey. It's got meringue on as well. So yummy. We've got all my whipped cream on Casey's. <laughs> just about to go into this little church thing. It's actually a temple. We've just seen outside that there's an exhibition with like loads of artwork in. I don't know if we'll be able to film in there, but we'll see. There's currently no signs that say we can't, so. Look how stunning these are. They're like 3D. It's actually quite scary front on. We've got loads of them. I've never been here. Casey's literally brought me. I'm being a tourist in my own city. And this isn't even the cathedral. This is just a little chapel. A proper modern church and they've got these 3D paintings everywhere. Casey's just said it's an exhibition that started yesterday. That's so lucky. And that's the same guy as over there, with the camera. Oh my gosh, yeah. Never ever been to this part of Geneva. What you get when you got a tourist with you? This here is the temple that we've just been in. And there's a little sign there that says 
entrances to the cathedral, so that's where we're gonna go. Walking up now. And there's loads of little arty bits. We're just looking for the cathedral now, which I think is up there somewhere. Over there, just on the top of that building, you can tell, you can kind of make out the water fountain. But yeah, Geneva Old Town is so beautiful, I'd literally never been. Dora the Explorer in all her glory. Cutest little pup. <gasps> Puppy. Adorable. And our car's parked all the way over there where the water jet is. We're going to try and go up to the top of the cathedral. I just read the sign on one of the buildings and essentially it's saying that Dr. Louis Appiah in 1859 in this very house called for help for the injured soldiers during the Italian war and that that was the first step ever in the creation of the Red Cross right here. Just saying imagine living here like how lucky right next to the cathedral and people are just walking up to the house. This is incredible. Look how absolutely incredible the architecture is. I'm actually in awe of it. And this whole street and square is just beautiful. I literally love living here. I feel so lucky. So we have to go through this door to get up to the towers. We're in the dungeons. Got to cut the spiral staircase. This is so cool. This is incredible. I don't really know where we are. Literally inside the actual tower. And you can see the top of the church where the roof is. So warm. So, so warm. More stairs. Look at the bells. That is incredible. And then Geneva. Take a moment of appreciation for how sweaty we are. Cool in Miss Time. A little bit. Yeah, it's the best thing oh, in yeah. the world. Come up more stairs. What's this little? know what it is. Panoramic view. We're at the very top now of the panorama section. It's literally like a free fall below me. Look at this. That's where we parked the car over there. Look at that. It's like the views I was trying to show you earlier, but just straight up. I can't believe how high. I know. There's a plane coming in as well. This one, do you think? Little Emirates number coming in. She got the biggest sula right now, the biggest sweaty upper lip area. I have not been in a cathedral for years I and years and years. No, and to think I live here and I wouldn't have gone if you hadn't brought me. And now we're going to visit the longest park bench in the world. And the most cute little street ever. It's got like a million and one flags over there. It's got like the Swiss flag, the Geneva flag, the United Nations flag. It's got such a cute little cafe. And then those are the flags that I was talking about. Get a little zoom action. And then we're walking down to here. And then this, I think, is said bench over there. The longest park bench in the world. And the whole way along is this same park bench. I'm literally having the best day ever. Doing our little touristy things. He's gonna go sit on the very end, isn't he? There is Joshua sat on at the very end. Here we are. We sat on it. Pretty far, but not too far. Pretty big bench. It is massive. I knew it would be long. But you know when you actually see it in real life, you're like, oh my god. All the way over there. Stunning. We're at this little market and there is a massive loaf of bread there over there. It's humongous. Oh. Carrying on the little tourist mission and now we're at the Reformation Wall and it's quite something actually. Wow. Josh is the happiest man alive because he loves his statue. Wow. I'm assuming that means it was built in 1536. That's incredible. It's like... It doesn't even look very old. Oh, and there's some more little... They're not murals, because they're on the floor. What do you call a mural that's on the floor? A floor mural. Let's look at our little chocolate gift. Merci. Look at all these yummy chocolates. This is our little nine franc oh. haul. Are you pleased? Um, I'll let you know in about one hour. Now that we've secured the chocolate, we're going to have a little look at the water fountain from a little bit closer. We need to hurry up, because we need to get home. Here's the fountain the water is it's so nice and there's the little taxi boats as well we've got the little flower clock i feel like we've done so much in such a short space of time but hopefully we're gonna get to go to the lake again tonight before we have our little housewarming good morning everyone i didn't actually end up filming anything more on the day we went to geneva or the next day because we had our housewarming and we didn't go to bed till like five in the morning 
and we didn't do much yesterday. We ended up essentially just going down to the lake, eating at home and things like that. But today we are going to Chamonix. We have managed to get some tickets to do the April to Miti. So I'm gonna bring you along with that. Obviously I have been to Chamonix a fair few times before, but I don't think I've ever vlogged it on my channel. So that'll be exciting to see. Obviously all the mountain terrain and everything. We're gonna get a traditional French slash Swiss fondue. Fingers crossed it'll be a really good time. I'm the one driving actually, so I will probably next film when we get there because yeah, I'm not gonna do a whole drive with me this time because my camera never stays up and we all know how that goes. But yeah, I'll catch up with you when we get to Chamonix. We've stopped off at a little fondue place. It's called the Serac, which is actually somewhere me and Tom have come before with his family when we came in February. And we're just gonna bite the bullet and all get a fondue together. You know, traditional French food, or traditional mountain food. And it's gonna come with like little charcuterie boards. So your little hams, potatoes, bread, everything you can dip into the cheese. It's gonna be so yummy. You guys are gonna get a starter? I don't know how big is the fondue. Pretty big. I'm probably not going to. Yeah. Good idea. Casey's got her little amuse bouche. Mm. It's like a cheesy. Like a cheese straw. Mm. We've got our little fondue set up. Obviously, this is the restaurant that we're at, and then our fondue is going to go there. And I got a glass of wine to take the edge off. Ham, a ham board, mm. charcuterie board. Yummy fondue. Delicious. Proper mountain food. Looks delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get past that? No, that you twizzle. That. Twist it. Yeah, there we go. We're going to be recording for a little funny part, There we go. First bite. Is it going to be real hot though? Uh, yeah, but you can just blow on it. <laughs> How's good. that? Good. Is it good? That is so good. That is delicious. Look at that goodness. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. It's time to go up to the Akujumidi. Help! I see that wire up there, that's where we're going. And it goes all the way up there and all the way up there. Also, look at how quickly the rivers move here. And then you've got the Mont Blanc there. Guys, I'm actually proper shaking myself about this telecabin cable car. Because although I do cable cars, every time I go skiing, this one is something else. We're currently about 1,000 meters above sea level. We're going up to 3,872 meters above sea level. So in a telecabin, we're literally gonna go up 2,800 meters. Help me! Look how stunning this is. I wish I'd vlogged in winter so that you could actually see the difference. I think we're just gonna stop and get a coffee or something here before we go and get started. But it's on cabin number 64 right now, we're number 69. And just to reiterate, we're going all the way up there and then all the way up there. There's one coming down now, but look how long you're suspended before there's another pylon. It's all the way at the top and you're just hanging all this time. Oh my God. How are we feeling guys? Okay, but I feel like I've eaten too much fondue for this. Throw up. I can't work. Guys, it's our turn, we're number 69. This is what we're going up to. Here's our little boarding pass. Jess, Casey, Joshua. How fast it goes. Here comes our little cable car. I hope it's tied on nice and safe. Ah. This is what's gonna take us to our death. I'm just not enjoying myself. I'm not enjoying myself. Guys, we've just got up to the top of our half Disaster has struck. So there's been an electrical problem and my camera has died, but it looks like they're getting moved on now. Which is good news. So I was like, yeah, something has just blown in the electric, you know, where in 3,000 meters up a mountain. Yeah, you didn't seem too bothered about it. This is stage two. We can finally get going. Guys, look where we're going. And we're right at the front as well, so when the next one comes back, we're straight on it. Look all the way over there. There's one like an avalanche or something. So this is where we're about to go up. Ah! I don't even think this does any justice to how steep it is. This is it face on, and this is me actually tilting the camera to the gods. Help me. Goodness me. So we've got to the top. I'm actually fucking way too scared to go to the edge. Look at me edging. <laughs> I don't like it. And this is the view that we've got. There's this little sensor that we can go past. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of melting, but it's scary. <laughs> got to walk through these little tunnels. <gasps> Sorry, I hate it. Don't get me wrong, I'm a very lucky, but I've not enjoyed myself. Look at this crazy bloke. 
like a new jacket. Oh my god, he's not even wearing shoes. This is where I've just come from. I didn't even know you could get higher, but there's people camping. And then you've got them on board. This is so bloody high. Guys, look at this view. And it's absolutely incredible, and that's the Mont Blanc, obviously. And you can see the people walking up, like little dots, like there. Can you see them there next to the tents? Going all the way up to there. Which is pretty far. In the queue right now to do this step into the nothingness is like a thousand meters below. Just to give you a bit of perspective. I'm just not having a good time. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Step on, step on. You don't even want to do it again. So basically, down here, this is the little box that we went in, and you have to literally go in and out so quick. Directly under the box, there's a thousand meters of just drop. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> right, see this peak into absolute nothingness? There's some people on the top. What the hell? Now we've got to get in this little rocky elevator to take us back down to the bottom floor. Yeah, here comes the lift. Casey's obsessed with flight radar at the moment so and it's so good. The plane's just gone by and it's going from Milan to New York. To give you a bit of an idea of what we've just done, we're here and we've just gone up that lift there to the very, very, very top. And then there's like a little restaurant. That's the peak that people were climbing up. You know, I was showing you before that people were climbing up there. Hello. Hello. That is so clever. I feel like that's something my mum would do. I feel like the clouds are moving dead quick as well. We were just saying as well that we're so lucky that we actually got to come up because if we'd have got a tour any later, we wouldn't have been able to come down because apparently they're refusing entry to people. Given that our descent is at 620, I don't think many of the other ones will have gone, will have come up, like any of the later boarding times. The little tunnel that we just went across. They're making me walk up this. I'm not joking, it's a fucking drop. This is where we've just come from as well, when we are at the very, very top. We survived. We live to tell another tale. We've just been, you can't even see it. Cause it's, can you? Yeah, all the way up there. I can't wait to get home, see my bed and be like, ah, I survived. But we're heading back to the car now. And then we need to pick Tom up on the way home. And then we might go for a swim. Hello everyone. I am currently in Biarritz actually. And I've just come to realize that I've not finished this video, but essentially after we got back from Chamonix, we just went for a quick swim, had some dinner, and then Casey and Josh were off. The next day back to England, we had the best time ever. It was so, so much fun. I'm gonna leave this video here. I really hope you've enjoyed. I've had the best time being a tourist in my own city. But for the time being, thank you so much for watching and I hope you see you in my next video.